Hello everyone, we are from GIIT doing our final year in information technology. This is our main project, Wi-Fi based or advanced wireless home automation system using Raspberry Pi. We are a team of four, Shruti, Danvita, Minakshi and Rashmika. And we did this project under the guidance of Mrs. Archana. What is Raspberry Pi? Well, to start with, Raspberry Pi is a training technology among students. It's like a mini computer, which is easily accessible to every emerging scientist or researcher. It's a credit card sized single board and a super low cost computer. There are many features of Raspberry Pi. We have a chip, CPU, GPU, memory, Ethernet, USB ports, video and audio ports, and also an onboard storage. The components of this Raspberry Pi. This is a B plus model and their components are 5B micro USB con connector which is similar to a lot of mobile phone ch charging ports general purpose input output pins Ethernet port and the four USB pins coming to audio and video modules there is a HDMI audio video that works with modern TV and DVD monitors we have a LAN controller camera interface, display interface, and an external storage at the back side of the Raspberry Pi. We use different languages to program Raspberry Pi. Here we have used Python and additionally Scratch, C++ and Java is also used. Coming to the working of the project, the project aims at designing a system which makes operating of electrical appliances in home through Android mobile possible. The controlling of electrical appliances is done wirelessly through an Android smartphone using the Wi-Fi feature present in it. Here in this project, Android smartphone is used as a remote control for operating appliances using Raspberry Pi processor. Coming to the connections of the Raspberry Pi, the Ethernet port and modem are connected using this blue wire which is an Ethernet cable. We have a mobile charger that is used to provide power supply to the kit through a micro USB port. The regulator power supply and the temperature sensor is connected to the GPIO pins. We also have four relays that are used to interface between Raspberry Pi kit and appliances which act as switches in order to on and off the appliances. The appliances used in this particular project are a 230 volt bulb, an AC motor and a mini fan. We can attach as many components as possible. These relays communicate with the appliances through an Android app which we can install easily on the Android phones. We have coded this app using the Eclipse tool and Android is the language that we have coded in. A temperature sensor is also provided in the project to detect the light temperature. These are the extra features that we have in the Raspberry Pi. Now let us look how it works. After the connections are made and the Wi-Fi is enabled, we also enable the Wi-Fi feature in the phone. After enabling the Wi-Fi feature in Android phone, We connect to the available connectivity of the modem. Now we move on to the app. This is the home automation app. We have four switches here which we can control and also the light temperature is shown in the display. We can toggle the switches accordingly and we can see the operations 
that switch on the bulb or the other components on the board. Here we have clicked on the bulb and therefore the bulb is switched on. And we move on to the next component. This is the motor that we have switched on using the Android mobile phone. And to the panel component that we have, to the mini fan. We can turn on and turn off these components as our wish from the Android phone. As this is a Wi-Fi feature, this is operable only within 10 meters. We can also extend the distance as per the connectivity. As we have the light temperature, it also provides us other features that we can attach to it. So this is an automation system that can be easily controlled by any person in the home. This is the final project. Thank you.